Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome to The Magic Circle. So this game was released onto Steam a few days ago, as of recording this, and it's different. It's different in the sense that it is very, very much so intentionally breaking the fourth wall. Alongside other games like uh, oh, Portal to a certain extent does it a little bit. Uh, but more specifically, the Stan Stanley Parable did it incredibly, incredibly well. This game is trying to go for that same sort of comedic humor within a game. So it's a game knowing it's a game. It's very strange. I, I played the demo and I was I got, I don't know, probably five minutes into the demo after listening to the intro and you know, that sort of thing. And I was like, I have to play this. I have to buy this. This is fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, I am actually recording this a little bit differently than I have previous content. Changed computers, got a little bit of different setup going. I'm recording with Fraps instead of uh, Shadowplay. Nah, no, no particular reason, just because I wanted to try Fraps this time instead of uh, using Shadowplay all the time. Take advantage of it, you know, I have it, so why not? <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's jump right into it. I'm going to go for, I don't know, probably 15-20 minutes or so somewhere in that ballpark and then we'll call it quits for today and if I enjoy it maybe I'll make more if you guys like it I'll make more and if I don't like it maybe not we'll see let's jump into it my old man used to take off his wedding ring and sort of flick it into a spin I remember being scared to blink like what if he loses it would he lose mom would he lose me? So, that's our cold open. Just a ring, twirling over black. Will it stand or fall? And then, as Starfather, I speak. Once, Starfather stood alone before the circle. Within it, he placed everything. First breath, final gasp, love, loathing, you. By his will, circle became ring. By his hand, earth parted from sky. But even he could not foresee the coming of Ava Nadir. Okay, I'm trying to record here, and you're making that face again. The player can skip this, right? Oh, yes. The story is only my life's work, but by all means, skip to the last page. Shall I leave it blank, so you have somewhere to doodle? Ish, you were married, right? You and your wife ever dress up? You know, role play. Maze. Thought so. And in that little scene, did you all find yourselves in burning need of a narrator? No. The meaning lives and dies in the act. Someone's never been in love. It's just a game. Shut up and let them play. Ah, uh, people, just use this take for now. I'll redo it tomorrow. Uh, we end on Through the Ring, and fade up as the hero awakens. Oh. oh my goodness. So, from what I can gather, the very little that I know of the game so far, it seems that the game is taking an unfinished approach. And from what I read through the Steam comments and the reviews and that sort of thing, it seems as you play, you shift the game and change the game in your liking? Kind of, maybe? Like, you, you fill in the emptiness that, obviously, it's black and white right now, so it's pretty rough. Like, like pencil uh, sketches, I guess, basically, is what the look is right now. Um, and as we play along, color will be added, and, and animations will be added, voice work will be added, and all kinds of things like that as you continue to play through the game. But it isn't the same every time. It can change. It's, I think it's dynamic, from what I understand. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> So we have a few commands, we can jump, we can zoom, and then of course the menu, which I love this menu. It's really like, just dumb, <laughs> but it's so cool at the same time. If you press W, you can actually zoom in. <laughs> I've never seen a menu that actually lets you move around with the the WASD keys like this. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. So yeah, let's continue on. Ah, here we are. Yeah, so it, I mean, even though it is black and white, it is a pretty good looking game still. Stylized, of course, but it is still pretty cool looking. Ooh, what's this? 
temp. <laughs> it was Ava Nadir. <laughs> like, like, temporary asset character. <laughs> Looks like the Gary's mod error or texture missing. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not pink, but... Well, someone was not very happy. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, this is cool, though. I, I really do like the whole art style and breaking the fourth wall just instantly. I love that. So obviously the two people speaking were the developers, I'm assuming. Or developing it in some way to a certain extent. Oh. Take sword. Yeah. Father's sword. My father? No, father to us all. Hold. Hold, please. So, who are you? A new playtester? Well, let me save you some time. Today... I push the buttons. Ish, we are not changing this part again. Twenty years, Maze. Twenty years I've wasted writing about the almighty player. But who is the player anyway? They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Genocide. <laughs> they demand a world full of deep, compelling characters, yet at any time, they reserve the right to turn said people into piles of gently glowing ash. Well, what possible story could survive these conditions? <laughs> It's a murder mystery now? Hmm, everyone's dead. Who could do such a thing? Oh yeah, me. Look! Look at our hero. A lonely mute who can't even lower their killing hand. Matricide is just how they say hi. <laughs> Your story needs mom to live, so I have to cut all weapons out of the game? Negative. Fire me. Never. Sorry, bro. Long story. No choice. <laughs> That's so cool, because because it's good. That right there is just going off the fact that if you give players the choice to kill anyone, most people or a lot of people are going to kill everyone. <laughs> uh, like there was a study. I don't remember what it was. It was a long time ago. Hi, mom. You're you look a little messed up, but you're not dead at least. You need to find yourself some texture. <laughs> but uh, people were sent into a Minecraft world, and. Basically, right, everyone just destroyed everything, is what it amounted to. <laughs> and it's similar ideas to this. Same with Skyrim and Fallout. Send someone into the world, they'll just go and annihilate yeah, everything. At least that's, that's kind of what I do. <laughs> just go and kill everyone. Now, we don't have any animations yet, but I can make do. Hero. The DNS of an idea has stolen my ring. She alone now commands life and death. Uh, something something ish the company <laughs> is broke the last kickbacker campaign raised less money than that joke fund demanding to have you cane by the state that was you trying to get fired even now i struggle <laughs> to hold the sky aloft never proven point is we can't raise a penny more without a live gameplay demo yes i'm writing the demo script as we speak wit must be your sword and virtue your shield now go, hero. Take back the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Those animations, though. That's next gen level right there. That is next gen. Oh, it's so good, man. I love this. This is my kind of game. If you're curious as to what kind of games I love, this. This is, this is the kind of thing I fall in love with. <laughs> Things that are self-aware and... No, Attentionally for a dumb. Night. What else do we have? What? Is that a boss fight? What's this? CL. Change log. Ah, okay. Lastly, to escape. I don't know which of your Mysterious, artists. Oh, but this is the ending. Sadder, maybe. <laughs> oh, they're changing on the fly. <laughs> which of your artists did it? Uh, but putting the elementary lock way, way above the door means that, like, 110% of testers just spin in place, clutching the keys, looking for a hole, and cursing no, the game designers. Right. <laughs> I, have a, I have news for you all. Or for you. All the glorious detail you put into treetops, vaulted ceilings. Not a mortal soul will ever see. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of like the whole... <laughs> Adding detail in unnecessary places while 
not paying attention to minute levels of gameplay detail. Too much texture work done. That's why, that's why, like, if games look bad, I don't mind it. If they play well, run smoothly, I'm happy. They don't have to look like Kill Zone. Not every single game does. Or not Kill Zone, uh, what's that called? I don't know, one of the Far Cry or something. <laughs> Incomplete for now, just cheat and spawn Erky. <laughs> awesome! You be thrown F to aim. Okay. <laughs> so, what do I do with this? I put it up there. Whoop! <laughs> they haven't finished the levels yet. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Saves me a lot of time. Oh, that's so good. I love it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. You up there? <laughs> nice. Oh, this is oh, it's too good. Self-aware. <laughs> Let me pass. So we're going to a boss fight. Hours later, I am Alva Nadir. Then we release the Hellhounds. Oh wait, but we just cut combat. So um. We? Oh no. I'm deleting the end game bridge so the team knows we're blocked by your decision. I want to ship this thing. That's the contract I signed. You stole 10 years of my life. We don't own you. Just the rights to your celebrity name and face. And if you quit, <laughs> I use it like so. My real name is Maze Evelyn. Once I was a hotshot pro gamer, but now I teach yoga. I'm also legally married to a crystal formation. You're holding my brand hostage? Okay-ish. Okay. I'll stay on until the demo, but wait till I tell you my new idea for the endgame. Threats don't sink in anymore, Maze. Try reading some of my fan mail. <laughs> now I need to review the final cinematic. Alone. Thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh, so what's gonna happen now? There's no bridge! <laughs> there's no sound, there's no nothing. It's just kind of like, unsettling. Awkwardly quiet. Only the my footsteps. <laughs> Hi. I can't really fight you. Hero, you are trapped. My minions will destroy you. Okay. What? What? I don't have anything. Ow! What? Yeah. I designed that fight to be hard. Not unwinnable, but with no weapons, it might as well be a ugh cutscene. Thanks, Ish. <laughs> but there's a bug I haven't fixed. Your body was erased, but it hangs around, taking up memory. You can still move if you want to finish testing. Ah, you weren't you weren't handling garbage collection. <laughs> so, oh cool, I can move through. You've been deleted, A.K.A. ghosted. While ghosted, you can interact with other ghostly objects. Ah, kind of like, uh, WoW. WoW kind of does that thing. Where you can be ghosted and then you can go find your body. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, she she didn't program garbage collection in. Your body's still there and you're gonna have an infinite number of yourselves. <laughs> so what do we got here? Oh. Oh. Am I moving? Oh no. What in the world is this? Whoa, this is kind of cool. Whoa, don't. Can that hit? I don't know if that it can hit me or if I just. If it goes through me. I have, I have no idea what's going on. This is weird. Ah, I need to rewrite this too. Something like. Even weaponless. The champion defeated Nadir, for they had selflessly offered up their firstborn son to Starfather. To become a new god. I like it. Ah, hello. Uh, Coda, right? Mesa's community intern. Why are you here? Love, sir. Your work is the great love of my life. Uh, Coda? Don't panic. I won't ask you to sign any body parts, but I have literally grown up waiting for the sequel and I will help finish it. Did you rehearse this? Many times, but hear me out. It might interest you to know that you make video games for a living. That should be an act of love. 
But after 20 years, well, love is not some mystic, inexhaustible force. It's a fuel. Projects like this run on it. And sir, with respect, your tank is dry. You think I sound young, but purpose trumps experience and you know it. This upcoming demo, I won't sleep until it's perfect. The magic circle has come too far to run empty now. It will reach everyone. And if necessary, sir, I'll burn for it. Coda, ignore whatever Mays told you. Now you're hired. <laughs> Game over. That's it, guys. Let me guess. You're thinking, that's it? Did I miss the punchline? And you're right, boss. This world is a joke. And I need you to finish it. Whoa. Pro, <laughs> Pro mode. Dude, this is awesome. Okay. Okay, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. What's going on? Oh my god, we're okay, we're actually in game now. <laughs> okay, sorry, it doesn't like me going that way. Okay. Dude. Oh, this, this is my game. This is a fantastic game so far. <laughs> Can I go inside you? Sorry, didn't mean for that to be weird. The gods of this world don't know you, boss, but they're scared of what you might do. They have to treat you like some reptile with a credit card who can't stay awake without watching something die. But we both know you can quit this world at any time. I can't. I'm trapped here, and I need your help. Hope that's enough. Okay, this is kind of cool. Oh, look at that. That's uh, XYZ coordinates. Neat, man. It's just like, it's just like we're in the middle of Unity. <laughs> it's not actually... It, the game launched improperly. It's just it's actually Unity that's on Steam right now. And we're just in the middle of a development cycle. <laughs> uh, oh, left mouse to... Or left mouse on a creature to summon... To your location, left mouse on a crack to teleport. What? What's a? I don't get it. I don't know what crack is. Okay, I guess we'll find out later. Welcome back. By now, you can see that the gods will never finish this world, boss. Hell, they can't even decide on the color of the sky. To fix it, we gotta start by breaking you. Oh, well, with that, guys, I'm going to call it quits for today. If you want to see what he means by breaking us, come back tomorrow where I will have the next episode up. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like in the section down below. Almost a description, but <laughs> leave a like on the video. Uh, yeah, this is different. This is very, very different, and I'm digging it. So... With that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm a Hello Japan. This has been the Magic Circle. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.